Hey everyone, uh, I've been working on the level select and I think we need to flesh out a little bit of the story today. Um, one thing is uh, when I recorded the trailer for the game, I just made random floors uh, and that signified a new level. And I think I want these materials to be the different levels anyway. Uh, probably in a progression of like maybe uh, grass to um, wood to stone to like ice and then maybe like a metal floor or like an alien ground metal floor like maybe you get on the spaceship and then uh you go on an alien ground so uh i'm just gonna take a quick note of that stuff and um we're gonna just like kind of build out the six levels uh that we are potentially going to have and uh yeah, we'll just try and go with that. So um, I think the first thing we want to do is just make sure that our scriptable objects have the appropriate um, stuff. So, you know, four, five, six, uh, and maybe we'll just say, you know, level one grasslands, level two, uh, the, the old house, Level three is, uh, what, um, the stone, uh, let's see, the northern bridge, uh, level four is going to be something like, uh, the icy expanse. Level five will be uh, the ship, the alien ship, the space ship. And then level six is going to be the alien lands. Uh, this kind of gives us a little bit of a framework. It's based off of things that we already have. Really cool stuff. So um in our scriptable object here uh we probably just want a material maybe material and uh level material and uh or level ground material and uh, that should give us a little bit of an area to start with here we'll write some unit tests around that but um you know just to separate out the different uh, levels. So we'll just search for grass, ground, bam. And then we're going to say wooden floor. And then stone road. And then uh, ice floor. metal floor and alien ground. All right, we got a nice little, uh, you know, so we say the grasslands. Uh, something is strange in the land. Uh, fight your way through the horde. To get answers. I have like a little bit of a mystery hook here. Um, explore the old house. Oh, yeah, it's actually old house. This is explore the old house to find your next lead. Um, travel north, uh, on the stone, oops, stone road, travel north on the stone road to discover more, oops. The uh, icy expanse. Uh, 
keep going north. You are close now. Board the spaceship and survive to your destination. Alien landscape, survive the hordes and bring the story to bring your adventure to a conclusion. Something like that. So probably need to spell check all that. I'll uh, figure that out later. Uh, next little bit. Um, and kind of where we're going to leave off is we'll kind of see that in the level select menu and what that looks like. And then I think I'll need to generate a little bit of artwork around uh, that level select menu, but we can go and see what it looks like in the main menu as well. And uh, currently we do have our level select menu in here. I'm going to go ahead and open it. I'm going to clear the collection and we are going to lock and then go in for um, setting up the scriptable objects here, and we're gonna just drop in all six levels. Uh, now, when we launch the game, uh, we'll get something a little bit like that. Um, and we'll go ahead and figure those things out. We're gonna have to figure out how to auto expand. Huh, interesting, yep. Good to find these display bugs quickly so let's go ahead and just fix that real fast so the content window is just not nearly big enough for the number of things that we need inside it um and uh yeah so let's just jump in there span viewpoint content all right so the height uh really should be larger right um by a lot okay so that's too much so 1000 maybe um like 1050 yeah there we go feels pretty good from the scroll so let's get that 1050 let's go drop it into um the prefab itself or Unity can crash. Anyway, you get the idea. I'll see y'all next time.